um, very recently, but also I've been uh, doing a little bit of more or of uh, Exerd lately. So mm -hmm. let's see uh, how, what Phantasm pulls out this time versus Biddies here. For sure. Letting the in. intros rock. Yep, and I know this is a matchup where May actually does have a better round start than most characters. Uh, Nago has some very dominant round start tools like the 63H. Uh, some characters will even beat all of their options. Uh, 5K, 2S, overall a lot of very good round start options, but May tends to have an easier time. Uh, her 2S can beat a lot of options that most characters can't super easily. Yep, and let's see if we're gonna see that here. That May 2. Yep. That, there it is, exactly as you said, the 2S, but Phantasm with the awareness with the round start Fukio back to whiff punish. Yep, and already we're seeing great match knowledge from both players, a great burst from Biddies, forcing Phantasm onto high blood, but gonna get that right back with a far slash. Yep. Oh, and that's a big 2H confirmed, that is going to kill. Alright, so that wall break there with the 6H, very nice, taking ground one. Yeah, very quick round one. At this time, catching the Fukio with the round start Dolphin. So there's the adjustment. Uh, May can generally RPS between the 2S round start. Oh man. Oh, that's such a big combo. Really yeah. bad spot for Biddies. Yeah, Phantasm getting so much blood back there and putting Biddies at very close to dead. We have a burst available for Biddies. Maybe we'll. Oh, there we go. We're seeing it there, but now you're in the corner, it's gonna be rough. And that Fuki forward into grab, gonna test those reactions. And Phantasm. I wonder if we're gonna see a little bit more of a patient round start. Yep, we are going to see no button from Biddies, but getting counter hit. Okay, showing each other a little bit more respect here. And oh no, that's another big counter hit. You already spent your burst. That's going to be a lot of damage and blood taken back off of that yep. counter hit. Good oh, dolphin there to catch nice the answer. Here. Oh, but the back dash. Okay, this is a chance for Biddies to get started. We all know that maze combos can be difficult to burst, but Phantasm is able to get out. Phantasm having full resources here. Takes the opportunity to burst uh, while they're still up on HP. Yep. That back dash with the wire C and the uh, bait blade. Gonna take that uh, that round there, Phantasm. Yep. Oh, and a round start 6P from Phantasm. Already going to get started here, getting the positive bonus going. That 5H gonna counter hit at a really long distance there. Gonna be difficult yeah. for Phantasm to convert. They set gold oh. burst with a great Fukio back. Taking that yeah. round with a perfect Phantasm. Your reactions. Um, gotta make sure you got those interrupts on point. For sure, just like that. And Phantasm has been testing uh, Biddy's awareness a little bit and willingness to challenge. And yep. challenging there on that round start against that Fukio. It's earned Biddy's a fair bit of damage there. Yep. Phantasm. Yep. Can use a nice conversion there. Putting Biddy's into the corner. Baits that oh. burst. Now a rough spot to be in. We do have a hundred meter there. Yep. Oh, but next hit can kill here. Oh, not quite with the 2k to the OTG. Oh, great block on the dust. Goes for it and... all there. Oh! Great 2s think... there from Phantasm. Gonna be beating yeah. out that beach ball. Yeah. Biddy's had great patience there though at the end of the round. But not gonna be patient enough to block that uh, Beyblade. Oh, responding with the Dolphin. Defense from Biddy's getting out of the oh. corner. The meaty close slash is going to be super unfortunate yeah. for Biddy's. And now on so their zero. last legs, one wake up and see what's going to happen. Oh, Ed. There is that frame trap with a 63H. His um, reversals a lot of the time. He has very potent safe jumps, which means he can't actually do those in this matchup and has to rely more on Burley. Yeah. Okay, the round start far slash from Zara. That's a move that's very, very dominant against Gold Lewis in neutral and especially round start being nine frames and so far reaching, uh, as well as the hurt box being small enough that six people actually whiff for Gold Lewis. Oh, wow. 
and you have to do a very tight micro dash 6p, which I can pretty easily blow up. Right, and oh, Speed Cola is actually able to get in using that uh, max level drone there, and just pushing Zaron all the way to the other side, um, now stuck in this pressure. Mm -hmm. And we can see exactly how Speed Cola is adapting to that parry. We're seeing a lot of resets here. You're seeing, you know, Close Slash, 486, 5k, Clara into the 842, uh, and a lot of resets with Drone, as well as Drone Oki. Uh, it seems like Speed Cola is opting for, which is, you know, very uh, good to play around the parry like that. Oh, okay. Good use of the Kabari there to keep Speed Cola from uh, dashing up for any mix-ups with the drone. Alright, just barely gonna outspace that 6A4 there. Okay, here's the Oki, all getting opened up by the TK Yozansen, but not quite able to get too much started. It's still your turn though, and that should be it. Very nice corner sequence there from Zarin. Just doing yeah. everything in their power to keep Speed Cola in that corner, catching a lot of run-ups. Generally good play. Yeah, the pressure was very good. Uh, a lot of uh, mix-ups there, especially with the TKO Zonson and Zara looking very good in round two as well. Speed Cola does still have burst. Oh, well, up to and, use there. As, yep, just as you say it, there it is. But that is going to be it unless you drop it right there. Oh, that was very scary for uh, Zara there. Smash mm -hmm. that 5P, see if it works. For sure. Especially with that burst. Yep. Good catch there with the, uh, the air BT. Yep. Oh, burst. and the bar slash. Bar slash challenging, I think, 4 to 6 there from Speed Cola. Yeah, the range of that bar slash is quite good at uh, fighting back against Gold Lewis. And okay, Zara, again, with the corner pressure getting Speed Cola all the way to the wall and for that round there. Very long sequence, basically a wall-to-wall -wall corner pressure there from Zarin. Uh, Speed Cola trying to show that uh, they are willing to use other defensive options than just block, and Zarin continually just denying that. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think uh, Speed Cola could be doing here against this uh, pressure? Because it looks very rough to deal with. I think Speed Cola could be picking uh, maybe safer defensive options. We're seeing a lot of jumps and back dashes and attempts to ID out rather than, you know, patient FDing and challenging uh, like common gaps. Viken, it is very tough to deal with her pressure once she gets in like that because there's a lot of things she can do, but sometimes you just need to be patient and hold that FD, push her out so she can't really pressure you any further. And, oh man. Again, such a rough situation. Good cross up with Jage. Goes for that oh. tape. That's gonna catch back dash. Yeah, that was such a great behemoth. That two six eight oh. gonna catch the jump yet again. Goes into another two six eight and then into the down with the system to wall break. Speed cola answering back with a round. Yeah. Showing some signs of life there. Speed cola showing that if uh, you know you let him play his game, I mean, he's just gonna run the usual Gold Lewis stuff. Yeah, but oftentimes the usual Gold Lewis stuff is, uh, that's gonna be enough to do it. Go to 6 8 oh, there, gonna kind of get that far slash. Catches the jump. Yeah, the 6 8 4 behemoths working out pretty well, and oh, there's the parry! Sauron has shown really, really good patience with that parry. I believe that was the first time they used it this entire set. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, and that's gonna be some pretty decent damage. Pretty early wall splat. I don't think Zarn was expecting that. And that's gonna oh, be paid on the super. But I believe Zarin has meter oh. to... Did Speed Cola just get left righted by a reversal yeah. super? Yeah, I think that's what happened. I'm not sure which way that hit. I honestly I didn't I don't even think know. I was going to hit in the first place. Yeah, I thought I thought I was going to completely whiff, but it looks like um, Zarin just mixed up Speed Cola with a reversal super. Yeah. All right, Speed Cola, this is your last life in this round potentially. Um, let's see uh, if you can make something happen. Keep yourself alive in the winner's side. 
but Zaran looking so good right now. Okay, great that was challenge. A very good IB there into the far slash the challenge. So mm -hmm. stand that drone. Zaran does seem to have a habit of pressing far slash in that situation after JD six eight four. Yep. Oh, first to keep speed cola into the corner and oh the cross up JH gonna work out here. Going into that combo with the RC, that's not quite enough to kill. Still has to win new for one time. And backing up, losing so much space to set down that drone. Oh, that. Think... And it ended up working out for, uh, for Speed Cola. For sure, it did. It looked like Zarin expected Speed Cola to try and end the round very quickly. Mady 624. And Zarin continually swinging after that JD 624. Oh, and that should kill. And run up super is gonna take that round. Very decisive for speed cola. Yeah, big damage on that combo there. Oh, round start to H. That's gonna be some big damage, but oh, very great awareness from speed cola there. Good first bait there, baiting the super as well. Speed cola calling out all of these defensive options. Yeah. The, the wall bounce, close slash, 248, close slash, not even gonna get time to wall splat and super. Just yeah. killing Zarin super, super swiftly. If you guess yeah, wrong yeah. on your defense, you're basically lost. You've, you have lost the game if you guess wrong once. And it's, it can be really unfortunate just how fast he steamrolls. Oh, we're getting the corner pressure, speed call it, not wanting to deal with it, bursting out, but. Zaran still looking very good, and there's the TKO Zonsen fast RC. Zaran's punishes on those air dashes have been on point. That's yeah, it. Zaran overall with the, the uh, conversions uh, has been really good, and the gun is going to take the first round of the last game here. Calling at that 684. Zaran does still have a burst as well. Yeah. Six, eight, oh, right or six feet, but not gonna get a knockdown off of it. Gonna end up catching a run up anyways. Oh, Apex, speed JD, cola. everything with it. Yeah, speed cola was kind of swinging there, hoping Zaran would get impatient and actually getting pushed into the corner here. Going for that fake cross of JK. There's not quite gonna have enough time to get that set up. Yeah. Cross oh, the there we go. Don't think we're gonna see a burst quite yet. Even if you do burst, that's a lot of health to deal with. I imagine we're gonna see it. Oh no! There's the hero burst, but it's not gonna work out. So unfortunate for Zara. I'm gonna end up using that burst and speed cola immediately taking the round. Yeah. Oh, and a big air to air JS. Good 5P there. Contest the landing. And speed cola getting that burst back just in time. Yep. That was a great far slash challenge again by Saren. Okay, giving up the space here to the drone. See if you can hold on to this and stand your ground. Looks like Speed Cola is backing off. Good. Aware. Good defense there from Zaren. That back dash is going to get caught by the JD though. Yep. Oh no, the behemoth whiffing. Zaran putting on a lot of pressure right now, pushing Speed Cola all the way to the other corner. Looks like the mental stack is getting the Speed Cola a little bit, dropping punishes that I've seen them do in this set. Both players facing danger right now. Um, just a lot of fear. I and mean, I can't blame them. This is game five, last round, both low on health. We have the burst from Zaran. We almost have a burst from Speed Cola. It might come back, actually. Oh, not able to confirm into a kill there. Oh, and there's the burst. Oh, and I think we saw a parry there, but the behemoth, yeah, it was a... Let's see how this plays out. Now, I believe I have seen Anima before, but I don't think I've seen Danny. Danny, I've been seeing win quite a bit of stuff recently. Oh, okay. Then grind oh. in that net play. Yeah. Get back there from Anima to get out of pressure. 
Okay, medium burst. Okay, sword toss to keep the corner here. All right, bursting out of the ram pressure because no one wants to deal with that. Good close slash catching oh. that back dash there from Anima. This is gonna do Quite. huge damage. Yeah, that laser does so much damage. Yeah, that buff has created some truly disgusting stuff from Ram. I've seen some kills that just should not. <laughs> it yeah. does not look like it should kill. It's doing like a little yeah. bit of damage, squeaking by, and then all of a sudden they just die. They're just gone. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and a great conversion here. Not opting to break the wall, just going for a little reset. Going into that wall slump. Took an opt, break the wall there. Looks like um, Anima may have missed the super input. Possible there. Oh, oh, not quite blocking the burst. Oh, oh, all the meter being spent here. Anima just had the meter advantage there. Yeah, let's see what will happen this time around. I mean, uh, that's the thing about Ram, right? Uh, no matter how good you are, um, Ram can always just do her thing against you, run her offense, especially when you don't have burst, and it's just so difficult to deal with. For sure. And really the difference is as soon as uh, you fight Rams who know uh, not only like how to counter your possible defensive options, but are really good at figuring out which one you're going to do. Yeah, and oh my god, that was such a good route from Anima. For sure, yeah. Good use of that, um, of the sword toss there to set up for that super. And I love, I've seen some interesting pressure recently from Rams uh, using a sword toss into fast RC 214k to get that infinite loop. I don't think we've seen that quite yet from Anima, uh, though either way Ooh. these conversions have been really good. Oh, is that going to be it? That, that is, is going, going to, to kill, it. yeah. Anima did actually um, opt to go for that, um, the looping pressure, but unfortunately missed the input on the sword toss and got a 5h. Yeah. I'll head out of the air with the uh, stun edge there. Showing a little bit of respect in a neutral right now until you just raw stun the bird. Okay, still showing a lot of footsies right now. Okay, the media burst. And here from Danny. Okay, now we got a burst from Anima. Yeah, we haven't even seen any real big combos here, but that's about to change when Anima finally lands the first real big hit of the game. Oh, and Danny with the response. The OTG 6H going to take it at the end there. Other in the neutral, and uh, there weren't any real big hits until the end there. Mm -hmm. the, both of them are playing the risk reward very well, so they're trying to choose options that are not going to get them blown up. Oh! oh that burst is going to get Danny blown up. That's a whole ton yeah. of damage goes into that record cancel sequence. You're gonna get the super so much damage from Anima. Yeah, and no burst available from Danny, but you do have the wake up DPRC. Anima oh, anti this... with that sword toss. Oh, for the left on the dust. Oh, nice air throw there air from throw. Anima, calling out that jump. Yeah, great read on that jump there. Oh! This time, just completely disrespecting the round start with the dash throw. Often to keep corner. Good jump from Danny on the throw. Yep. All right, Danny's turn to play. Now a bit of neutral going on, and Anima finally getting that hit with the jump S. Great stun dipper there from Danny after the sword toss. Yeah. Um, stun dipper is quite. Uh, good against Ram in situations like that where you can sneak under far slash and oh another unfortunate burst from Danny Not quite able to kill yet Oh Oh, and that is going to kill though and Danny's just gonna barely be able to sneak out that round getting that counter hit anti-air close slash Yep, text to throw, oh, throw tech. Counter hit okay. 2 is there for Anima, gonna get some pressure started, and with punishing that 2k there, gonna get a corner oh. sequence started. Yeah, it's gonna be a good chunk of damage here. 
Go through that super, even with scaling, that super does a ton of damage because of the multi hit. JH oh. goes into the throw. Uses that OTG 214H to kill. Their anima was really scouting those out. Catches the back dash with that 5H. I like how Danny used that super jump to get out of the corner there. Even going over the uh, S toss. Yeah. Very great option to escape. Okay, burst out of the corner. Something oh, I've, great answer. Something I've been noticing that Anima seems to be struggling with is Danny will do these short strings and then throw a um, an S fireball. And that tends to catch Anima either mashing or backdashing a lot after the string. That's, uh, I've been seeing that as well. Um, even catching the uh, 214K a couple times with the fireball. Um, mm -hmm. Though. Okay, that's gonna be very scaled, so it's not gonna be too much damage. Though, it doesn't matter since next hit kills. We do have full me- Oh, not able to use it though. Anima is going to take the round there. Danny did have full meter there, but unfortunate, just got caught at the end. I love how well Anima controlled space with literally just movement there. Basically just moved forward and said, I'm not gonna let you go here. Or standing yeah. to the corner and a fantastic 5p anti air. Yeah. Gonna put an Ema on set point. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes even just moving forward. For oh! That is a. Yeah. Certainly uh... a choice to super there. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe an Ema was thinking that Danny would cancel into a Dire Clad or a Fudra Arc or something, but that didn't happen. Oh, the H sword toss is gonna work out there, but okay. Uh, Danny is going to make it through, and we do have a burst from Anima available to get out of this situation if uh, he does decide to use it. But no, Anima's going gonna opt. Anima's gonna opt to save that burst for the last round. Definitely a good choice. As Danny is very close to getting uh, a burst back himself. Yeah. And yeah, that route at the end there that Danny went for was a burst safe route with the RC. Uh, H stun edge there. Forcing that first out from Anima. Alright, now we get the Oki from Danny, and okay, the response with the far slash. Good far slash from Anima. Danny gonna opt not to RC, saving that meter there. I might okay. be able to do it. Ooh, 5H is gonna oh. drop with a run up 5D gonna catch Anima blocking low and take game four for Danny. We're moving on to a game five, folks. Guys are punished yeah. on the uh, blocked stun edge. Mm. Or the uh, stun defer. Really fast, the uh, volatile round start there. And Anima gonna unfortunately come out um, on the bottom of that. Yeah. Danny oh. ran up and tried to throw the Kai Classic. Anima gonna backdash with that close slash punish and then... Oh! Danny will play that well around bursts, and eventually we're ending up here with Danny down on life and Anima in the corner. Not quite gonna whip punish the whip Dara though. Oh, the whip bro. throw! So we're gonna DP to wall break. That's a lot of damage down on Anima. And both players have already spent burst. Looks like we're gonna see um, if we're gonna make it to a final round, we're gonna have both players at first. Yeah. And. Not quite able to kill yet. Oh, no, that That's is definitely going to gonna kill. kill. It is Ramblethal. Uh, it kills. <laughs> that looks there to quite check. close. Oh, oh yeah, giving just a minute. Okay. Anima going to end up with Danny here in the corner. Okay. JP's getting on the risk. Yeah. Jailing Danny in the corner there. But Danny able to fight out of the corner now. See if he can make something happen. Okay, great. Uh, six feet from Anima. And okay, that's gonna be big damage unless you burst there. Good throw from Danny. Cool oh, burst from Anima. Burst. Oh, spending all your meter for that. And that should be it. That's gonna be enough for Anima to kill. And take that in a fast game five. Congratulations, Anima. Moving on to winner semis. Has to work, really work for her damage. So it's very scary um, to make any sort of mistake and have Nago have those infamous 
uh, interactions where she just kind of dies, like, what's going on right now? Mm-hmm. A great turbo fuck fell out of the corner, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, first to keep the corner there. Great pressure going on from uh, I Scorpion right now. Scorpion okay. doing a lot of things that are pretty difficult to contest. Ooh, mm -hmm. good reverse super. They're gonna catch that. Oh, I thought oh. I thought I saw a horse slash start up. Yeah, I thought I saw a button there, but it looks like we were both wrong. Um, and uh, Phantasm is going to take the first round. Could have been a car at the moment. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Twitch oh, gonna whip. the whiff. Going but for the, the gold, gold burst. burst. Goes for okay, the low going. Yeah, going for some mix, and okay, this time, Scorpion able to fight uh, his way out and get the Oki going. Oh, overhead. great. Yeah, great overhead. Uh, is this too slow? No, it's barely... Oh, but it whiffed! The second part of it whiffed, so That's you're not going to get the wall break. Yeah. It's going to end up resetting in the corner, but uh, Ice Scorpion's going to get that wall break anyway. Take the and round, the brown slash car slash. Oh, and great whiff punish on the brown start DP there. Oh, a lot that's a lot of blood. Of blood. That's that might be blood rage. Yeah. But I Scorpion, unfortunately, was not quite paying enough attention to the blood meter. Yeah. Still able to get a punish anyways, and now in a really good spot. Great BRC catching the Beyblade there. A lot of little tricks and resets uh, in Melia pressure to keep Nago guessing. Mm -hmm. Love that slight delay there. Oftentimes that setup's used to go for a fake meaty into a bite, uh, but Phantasm did a little delay and that's gonna be meaty. Okay, Phantasm with a lead here, though Scorpion getting something started, you can uh, make something happen here. There isn't a whole- oh? I don't mm. think that's gonna hit. Very nice from Ice Scorpion. Good bait there on that reversal, super. Okay, patience from Ice Scorpion, respecting the Nago round start uh, to Wes, and that is going to take it. Great round from Ice Scorpion. Ice Scorpion already looking very strong here. Up a game and around and still has burst. Oh, that turbo the fall. Start turbo fall. All right, Throwing getting the hold off started. Burst. And Phantasm not going to block it. It's wall broken and it's already taken a half health. All right, first thing to get out of the pressure. Alright, showing a bit of restraint in the neutral right now. Waiting for Phantasm to whip something, and that's exactly what happened. Getting the nice punish and forcing the burst. And oh, there is a blood pop. Can you finish? No, you cannot. Oh my oh, gosh. But you get chipped out there by the hair car of and just waiting out what Phantasm is doing and then looking for whip punishes. Yeah, uh, Phantasm is not been especially careful about um, both like what button they're pressing and uh, spending blood, right? We've been seeing a lot of stuff, even sequences where Phantasm will spend into, like an entire blood gauge in one sequence. Uh, but Phantasm's gonna spend Ice Scorpion's entire life gauge in that sequence. Oh my god, the amount of damage that Phantasm is able to pump out so quickly. Yep. Good 2k there to challenge the uh, 6 p oh, Another back throw. Phantasm's been getting a lot of these throws to get the offense started, uh, though Scorpion is able to find a way out and get the Oki going. And Ice Scorpion is so good about like individually picking out Phantasm's defensive options and just specifically baiting one. Oh my goodness, that's gonna hit Sour Spot? Oh, that's so much damage! Evening out the hill, Phantasm looking poised to take this game. Although Scorpion does still have some meter. And the oh. burst lead, and gonna be able to take that round, not putting I Scorpion on set point with a burst lead. That was such a good way to close out that round. Using the super, and oh, 
ping on here. Phantasm really getting started right now. Spending a lot of blood on these spook kills. Uh, that's not quite blood rage. You're almost there. You're gonna get some blood back. Phantasm like looking quite strong right now. I like that dash block there from my scorpion to close the distance so we're not going a little bit weaker. Yeah. Great oh. burst bait. Very well played from Ice Scorpion, and okay, we got a throw. It's time with the overhead. What's the next mix here? Oh, not quite able to get it. Able to mash 5D. Great bait oh. there on that wire C, and that's gonna be enough to kill with that Mirage Cancel hair car. Yeah. Ice Scorpion. So we're going to see Ramathal versus Gold Lewis. Um, what are what are your thoughts on the Gold Lewis versus Ramathal? It's I think it's very much slight ram favor. I think Drone has changed this matchup quite a bit. The new Drone. Right. Neutral is now so much less uh, dangerous for Gold Lewis. Right. Uh, and he actually has good tools to contest um, ram. The JD and right. Fox last changes are also very nice. Okay. So it doesn't um, sound too bad, as long does, as Gold Lewis can get started. Um, yeah, and if, if either character gets a hit, they win, is essentially it. Except I think Ram has stronger, as uh, Ram still has stronger neutral just because of the absurdity of her buttons. And Gold Lewis has slightly better conversions off of, the, off of random hits to go into knockdown. Right. So it's somewhere around even. Right. And Nima gonna take that first round really quickly, put in speed pull it in the corner. Racking yep. up that risk, no burst, no yep. meter, and a great oh. 6p there on that Rekka. Oh! The RC up into air throw. I yeah, saw I like how... do that. <laughs> I like how uh, Anima was just holding onto that 100 meter the entire time, saving it for that moment. Ooh, good defense there oh. with the IB and the throw. Yeah. Kind of they'd have a reversal super, but Anima just gonna wire C at the right timing there on that drone. Oh, not able to convert off of that 5k though. Good 2p out of pressure Great and the burst bait. Burst. That is going to take it. I like how Speed Cola is uh, taking a lot of these rounds not off of um, any tech or uh, combos and really just general good fundamentals. There's a lot of Gold Lewis tech that Speed Cola could be using, like Kara's, um, and some better routes to enhance their game plan, but Speed Cola is just playing really well. Yeah, I did notice that we didn't see in any of the dash cancels or Kara's there, but it's just overall solid play, which is what I like to see. And oh no, not the throw bait. That is a big combo there. It's going to do a ton of damage. Not, not quite, quite enough kill. kill. Gold Lewis is a big boy, but I don't yep. know if he's big enough to take Ram's pressure here after wall break, but it looks like oh. he's going to be able to get out and go yeah. into the pressure sequence. Oh, the wire C not working out, but the drone kind of messing up any conversion Ooh. there. And, ooh, great challenge. Speed he I'm is. Gonna... I was kind of expecting the laser to kill just because it is ram. <laughs> but mm. uh... no, it, it definitely was. It definitely crossed my mind. Like, is this actually gonna kill? <laughs> um, and Speed Cola just barely managed to live. Yeah. I love how Speed Cola uses the dash to get under that uh, the S. A projectile that Anima seems to like using in neutral. And there's what Speed Hole has been going for a lot, is that uh, air dash trying to catch a uh, bad anti-air. Yeah. Oh, great challenge on the drone with the far slash. Anima's got to make the most out of this and try to get a burst out, but nope, not quite going to happen there. Speed Cola looking real good. Good throw from Speed Cola. Speed Cola has uh, clearly good knowledge of the defense in this matchup. Knows to block that 2k when at close range. Throw uh, will beat any after sword toss 2k. A run up that would let you continue pressure can be thrown. Yeah. Just showing overall really good matchup knowledge. Yeah, the defense has been pretty solid, but unfortunately you can only defend for so long. Sometimes you get opened up and we have a pretty big life deficit here, but. Uh, Speed Cola able to turn it around so quickly and oh no, oh, that burst is gonna prevent that from happening. 
Yeah. Really unfortunate for Speed Polo. Usually what you want to do there is RC back and then go into a burst safe road. And now Speed Polo on the back foot here. Very scary situation. We do have 50 meter on deck and oh, the Rekkas are going to take it. Just a little bit of trip damage there is going to do it against Speed Polo. Cross yeah. up with the JH. Oh, again with the Air Dash Behemoth and Anima immediately challenging, challenging that on the landing and okay, great anti-air. Okay, bursting out, no swords, but oh no, gets caught by the jumpy. Anima doing a really good job right now, keeping Speed Cola in the corner. 5k that... into the super. That's gonna do good damage too. Yeah. Oh, and you're oh going my. for the RC. That's that a, lot, a of lot, lot of damage there. Damage and all oh, just the da air dash throw. There's that JH whiff goes into the throat. Into dash or whatever, uh, doing my recas. You change up the moves slightly and change up your timings a little bit. It can very much throw the other player off, and that's probably what happened to Speed Cola there. Yeah, Nima's was very good at changing those timings up a little bit. I like that JD there over the far slash. Kara, unfortunately, I'm not going to catch the back dash. Speed Cola, oh, plenty of people to get a conversion to kill, anyways. Yeah. Great conversion from Speed Cola. Okay, Anima trying to control space with the jump S's here, but Speed Cola quickly taking that space. Back oh, actually, back dashing. Okay, getting the Gold Lewis pressure started, but again, with the bar slash to challenge the drone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's something that Ram can do very well. Is she can do far slash or 5H, um, because those are such big disjoints. She can do them, and that that will go straight through the drone, and then cancel into 214K. So you just have to be aware of it, because that will right. go over the drone, and you have to be aware enough to mash 2P on those. Right. All I mean, a little bit of a input flub with the behemoth there. Misses that running 842. That's a really difficult input. You yeah. have to go from up to down in five frames, and still hit forward on the diagonal. Oh. Gets that throw, okay. goes into the OTG, sword toss pressure. Good 6P oh, out great on that 6P. Oh, great block on the cross up. Full meter for Anima. Catches oh, the back just... dash. The dash super and all. Oh, able to close it out with the 5H at the end there. What a scramble at the end there. Anima spent 200 meter, 100 meter, and still wasn't able to kill off of that, but got a straight far slash and ended up taking the game. Yeah. Oh, really good spot right now for Speed Cola. Jumping that throw. Oh. Great challenge with the jump uh, K from Anima and able to get uh, a nice little conversion here. Bursting out. Getting the pressure started now from Speed Cola. Nice patience, but how long can you hold on to this pressure? We got a challenge eventually, and Speed Cola recognizing that, just going in for the throws now and just taking it. I feel like Anima is going to be a little bit more proactive on the defense. Uh, though this time immediately spending the burst uh, just to try and not let uh, Speed Cola get started here. And, oh, that is a big gold burst. Let's see what you can do with all this meter now. Oh, oh, not able to punish the whiff throw. Okay, but Speed Cola able to get out of the corner. Speed Cola with a lot of damage now. Get the drone Oki. There's now you gotta hold cars. all the. Yeah, there's those Karas. There's the meter being spent. And there is Anima's life in that round. Oh, that 5p anti air was quite good at catching Speed Cola. We may see a repeat of what happened in Speed Cola's last set, where Zarin went up 2 0. And then yeah. Speed Cola made a really good comeback, but it was super close in that last game. Yeah. Oh no, oh. There was that throw on the Daru punish. Yeah, even though you got the IBs there, not 
still not close enough for the throw. And Anima now getting started with his own pressure. Though Speed Cola having none of it with the wire C and nice weight on the um oh that was a cheeky little reset there. Speed Cola is I think what Speed Cola has been doing, even in the last set, um, it's like you said, we might see a repeat, is just the adaptations he makes um, seem to be really good at catching on to what people do on defense. Though, Anima is able this time to take this round. Let's see if Anima can close this set out before Speed Cola um, really adapts and starts uh, even taking this set altogether. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anima able to take that last round there, but this ra uh, this round here means everything. And mm -hmm. Speed Cola is getting a huge, huge counter hit there with that far slash. That's gonna oh, kill Speed that Cola. Killed. Taking game four with a insane half health combo off of a far slash. Blow you up for doing that. Although I think Anima did have meter, so uh, it was a good option to represent at least. Oh, oh no, the no. dead zone on the 684. Yeah. And then the 6P Un whiffing on the 204K. Unfortunate oh. hitboxes here for Speed Cola, but still gonna be able to go into the corner. Hates the oh. YRC. Gets that 2K to punish. Fast RC into the 862. Oh, again, with the uh, dash cancels and closing it out real quick. This is a repeat of what happened in the last reversed 3 0 sweep. Um, Speed Cola, I feel like it's just really good as uh, the longer the set goes, it feels like he gets really in the other player's head on their defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Speed Cola seems to have a tendency to adapt really well three or so games in. Oh! All this time. There. Oh, oh. answering <laughs> right back with that reverse of super. What? Oh, but it's blocked from Anima? Oh no, okay. that's so unfortunate. Anima gonna recover in time on that cold slash to block the full shirt. Yeah. I thought Anima was gonna get hit, but we were both wrong. Okay, bursting First out of the pressure here. Being a little bit careful while you're waiting for your H sword to come back, and now it's your turn to play. Got the corner, but now Speed Call it able to just get out. FDing. Uh, that's something you can do against Ramathal, is you just FD your out, and once you throw the sword at that range, you can make your you can take your chance to try and just jump out. But Anima, um, on phase, still keeping up the pressure and actually taking out Speed Cola. Yeah, if uh, Anima can find a big conversion here, it could be a lot of pain. And unlike the Nago matchup, Ram has a little bit more. Uh, mobility, so let's see how Ice Scorpion will approach this. I love that double right. overhead with the air dash and yeah. the JP. Yeah. Ice Scorpion already able to get started, putting Anima in the corner. Um, oh, able to challenge though, and we get a nice uh, confirm here with the dash cancel Rekas. And you can see and here exactly what makes this match is so rough because. Uh, I Scorpion mixed uh, Anima up like three or four times yep. and got Anima. I, th I think there were like two mix ups and a little bit of chip damage from neutral. Yep. Um, whereas Anima got two good hits and won the yep. See, that's, yep. that is the main problem for Melia against characters like this. But yep. I we saw I Scorpion comfortably beat Phantasm. So it's definitely not. Um, you know, off the table for Ice Scorpion to take the set. Yeah. Good patience with the burst. Okay, no S sword, throwing both your swords away. You got no meter to work with. You kind of just have to sit around and wait. And, good air oh, throw though from a Nemo. That okay. round where it was literally two good hits and that was Milia's entire life bar. Let's see if Anima can pull that out again. Or if Scorpion will just keep the Oki going and uh, not let that happen. I'm uh, not going to convert off that JD there into... Uh, like we could have gotten a wall break there even with the Kappel. Oh. 6k and with those new buffs, 6k can 
or new I say that was four months ago. But Capital can cancel in er sorry, six K can cancel into uh specials and supers now and actually gonna be able to get that six K and cancel into Septum to get the wall break. Yeah. And that OTG there. Anima I like that there what Anima did with the um the delayed Rekka to get the higher bounce and then ended up being able to get an OTG after the third hit of Rekka with that meter. Yep. Oh, in a bad spot right now for Scorpion. Anima looking to keep this pressure airtight, solid, not letting Ice Scorpion out. And you are now at full meter. You gotta fear the reversal super, but uh, Ice Scorpion not having any of it. Oh, uh -huh. the air throw! That's really unfortunate there for I Scorpion. I know that was meant to be a burst bait, but I Scorpion did not think that he would end up on the right side of Anima. And okay. ended up getting left right mixed by a burst. Yeah. Oh! Not burst able burst. to land quick enough for the with throw, and Anima able to take it. Tournament so like far. Um. And this is kind of showing the difficulty of playing Milia versus such a high damage character. You, there's really not much room for mistake because look at how much damage has already been done. That's only a couple of combos and this might actually be it if you got the full conversion. Oh, that's, not quite. That's too scaled. Gonna end up so scaled that that's not quite gonna kill. Gets that far slash conversion there though with the... Um... Mirage cancel into air car. Yeah. Great oh. air throw on that capital though. I love how Anima was able to read the trajectory of that capital and just snatch Ice Scorpion at the air. And yeah. now looking to snatch a chance to uh go straight into grand finals. Yeah. Okay, great. Five H to uh get Ice Scorpion off and another one. Okay, a little bit of patience from Ice Scorpion that time to re-approach and start the pressure up again, getting the wall break here. Good 2k there to whiff on it. We're gonna oh. go into two septum voices and gets that wall break. I don't know why I find that combo so funny, but Ice Scorpion is fighting back. We're not gonna see an easy 3-0 for Anima at least. Yeah. Well, not able to get a full conversion off the anti-air close slash, but able to get some Oki started anyways. And now the Milia pressure is starting. Crossed yourself up in the corner, but that's okay. You're Milia, you can do Oki anywhere on the screen, and you are just on top of Anima right now, looking so good, looking for a perfect. Oh, but stuffed by the JS. That's who though, gonna be, gonna be able to mash out. And get that being pushed too far out to a range where uh, Anima could challenge with the far slash or 5 mage, um, as we've seen before. Just going for a lot of these little pressure reset sequences uh, to keep uh, Anima guessing. Yeah, Ice Burpeen's really good there about the um, the pressure and using not just the range, but a lot of these different gaps uh, between different normals. Yeah. And as well as using good delay timings there. And a lot of good, yeah. like, general stuff with, um, like, air dashes and mix like that. That's a big counter hit, though. I think that yeah. Anima's gonna be able to kill off yeah. of that. Going to the 6A, 2 and 4 ish That is a fast <laughs> kill. Anima yet again on set point, but as we saw last game, Ice Scorpion is definitely able to make that comeback. Mm-hmm. Oh, but Marina. right now. Yeah, right now that comeback is looking rough. Anima is looking quite good right now. And oh, getting... That was such a great 2k to check the dash there. And that is going to be it. At a perfect from Anima moving on into the grand final. I don't see many fast Bell Lewis matches. Right. Though I imagine... Um, just like any other Gold Lewis match. If Gold Lewis can get started like this, it's very tough to fight back. And I don't imagine Faust really has the buttons to fight back. Other than that, oh, no. oh, this is so... It whiffed! Yeah, that's gonna be a, a whiff. That was an OTG uh, 5k into the super. 
but Speed Cola is going to be able to pull that round through with that 684 to counter poke the run up. Yeah. Yeah, so I think um, if. As long as Faust can kind of keep Gold Lewis away with these large buttons, uh, it should work out pretty well for Faust. Yeah, mm -hmm. just really not letting Speed Cola play right now. Um, just really making the most out of Faust's range here. And I think it also can be difficult for uh, Gold Lewis to actually approach in the air, especially with the butt that he so loves with that JD, because uh, mm -hmm. Faust has great air-to-air -air buttons. Faust has that uh, 5k and that 6p. Um, yeah, got that big old 6p with the, the yeah. fork fingers or whatever. I yeah. don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Just a big old swipe. And yeah, there's another move there that JS really being used to keep Speed Cola in the corner here. And now we got the mix with the Afro. Oh, the whiff on the dust doesn't matter. The Afro explodes, giving you another mix, another command grab. Just unable to move. Speed Cola cannot do anything. Not quite gonna kill yet though. So you guys gonna drop a kill there? Oh, oh no. That one more is not big good. Hit here. Yeah, one more big hit here is gonna take it for Speed Cola. Okay, burst out. Oh, oh my gosh, that 5P. Just gonna catch that, I think, backdash or jump from Speed Cola. Of almost a tragic game for Z Guy, yeah. but gonna be able to pull it out there with that Scarecrow RC to get past the drone. Yeah, drone, you get counter hit, you just die. <laughs> There's okay. that big old 6P we were talking about. It's a great anti air against Gold Lewis. Can make it really hard to approach in the air. But that bomb is going to make it. Uh, Z Guy going to be put in the corner by the bomb. Oh, great meteor there. Able to pick up the trumpet because of that. Great item setups here, but that uh, 100 ton weight not going to work out. Actually, uh, giving Speed Cole a chance to get in. And not able to finish quite yet you don't have meter for super but one more good hit that is going to take it round one over to speed cola speed cola playing that round very well unfortunately did drop the kill on that wall break with the bt the yeah. main thing i've been noticing speed cola uh failing at is not challenging item tosses like for example we've seen yeah. from z guy we've seen you know far slash 2h and cancel into item toss even on block uh, and yeah. Speed Cola has been playing passive around that. But aside from yeah. that, Speed Cola has been playing the neutral really well. Yeah. Okay. A lot of great challenges. Oh, another anti air. These 6P is really working out for Z Guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, like, I do want to see some more challenges on the item tosses because. Um, especially if you block any Faust buttons up close, uh, especially if it's like a 6P, he can really only cancel into item toss. Oh, that's a big burst bait. Is this going to kill? Yeah, that's absolutely yeah. a kill. Oh! Speed Cola? No, Dropping. that's so unfortunate. Yeah, I think that was a drop on the churn there, right? And accidentally got a back dash. Yeah. Maybe Speed Cola did a classic taco and literally missed the button. Oh no, well, you still don't have too much life to work through, but Sea Guy is not going to make that easy. Oh, big gold burst right now, Speed Cola wants to use this meter to take this. That is oh. going to be a full churn, all the items out. Not sure where you're safe oh. to RC to, but it looks like Speed Cola is going to be safe not RCing at all. Oh, great 6P on the scalpel pull. Oh! Got a 6 speed okay. down as well. But the drone yeah. is gonna hit! That is a certified drone moment. Uh, didn't matter. Able to close it out anyways. And, uh... Um, okay. Opening up with the Behemoth. I think maybe caught Z Guy trying to uh, maybe pull an item there. But now Z Guy has the control here. Got the Afro, got the Big Bomb. Okay, bursting out of the 6P now. So much mileage off of this 6p. Okay, holding the space, using the drone to try and fight over the trumpet. 
but using the throw to actually avoid the army there. And now, um, Z guy is looking real good. Oh, I think this is gonna hit. I think that's a that's throw. Not gonna hit. That is a block. Oh, no, it's not. Oh no, the hammer hit and then pushed speed pull it out of range for the 2H to connect. I'll do back dashes. Good 6P on the mix, mix, mix. Unfortunately, okay. I'm not gonna contest that. And the 6H no, gonna anti air no. take the round for Z guy. Such big bugs making it really hard for Speed Cola to really get in at these mid to long range situations. And oh, oh wow. the reverse 684 are gonna hit that. That is a lot of damage. That's actually very interesting. Able oh to use. Oh my gosh, that was so sick. Oh man, yeah, able to use that 684. I wonder if 486 would work as well but uh oh, well oh. It's, it's actually the same exact hit uh properties as a 486. oh it's okay just, it's, in fact that that even means it is an overhead oh interesting Speed oh cola that round made me unbelievably happy <laughs> you do not know how happy that reverse 684 makes a gold lewis player it, it looks like such a rare hit to get that when you finally do get it, it's like, oh my god, I finally got it, I can do big yeah. damage, and Speed Cola did make the big damage happen, as what is going on right now, the corner pressure is crazy, but Z-Guy, using the verse to finally get some breathing room. Speed Cola, maybe looking to call out a scalpel pull there. Yeah. Okay, mix, mix, mix out of there. Oh, so there we saw the 6P into item toss and Speed Cola did the whiff throw. I'd like to see something like a fire slash or even like a dash 2P to challenge the uh, 6P item toss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely uh, one of the things that you can do. Fire slash, 6 8, 4 tend to be your better options for that. So you guys been making right. a very good comeback this round though. Yeah. Been avoiding a lot of great hits using uh, those items to their advantage. Yeah, all oh, these are some really good items right now, and able to get the overhead and That's able to kill. take it. That six H plus this. coming in handy there for Z guy, going to be able to convert non counter hit six H directly into the thrust. Really, just change the momentum after resetting back to neutral. Okay. Got the mini Faust out now, and oh, actually extending the hurt box, uh, or actually the hit box of that behemoth, and running into it, and now it's actually working out really well for Speed Cola uh, with a nice lead here. Oh, JS. Ooh, oh, I love clash. that six P clash. I'm gonna use that six eight four. That's yeah. The conversion there with the far slash off of the counter hit JD. Going to take the round for Speed Cola. Oh, we got a Meteor here, gotta hold that, gotta hold the Mini Fouls. Now all of that protects the Trumpet, now the Trumpet goes in. Really great items so far from Z Guy, but good defense from Speed Cola dealing with all of that. Able to just take control back. Got the Bomb in play. Oh, the drone catching the... Um, Dive kick there and bursting out of the corner. Don't want to deal with Speed Cola's pressure. And oh no, the burst is going to whiff. Okay, got a players mini house. Low on HP this round. Got to drift backwards to make Mixed Best safe. Yeah. Speed Cola now stuck in this corner. Goes for that BRC oh. into the behemoth, but that's going to be punished by the 5P. And yeah. Z Guy now on set point. Yeah. Near air dash behemoth, um, not safe. Getting hit by the five P there. All I, these I, are some I, great items. I absolutely know this feeling when you're down two one, and they take a round, and then you start getting hit, and you realize, oh no, I could lose right here. Yeah, definitely have felt that. Oh wow, I'm surprised that bomb hit. Yeah, the extended hurt box on the two oh. K. And that is not, not going to take it. Z guy still has a massive health advantage here though, and that 2P poke just barely gonna be able to take it for Z guy 3-1 over Speed Cola. This plays out. 
Okay, we're actually already seeing a little bit of patience here in the neutral, both players. I think Betty. a lot of it will also come down to the item RNG to control the neutral. Yeah, Danny used movement really well there to um, force Z guy into the corner. Yep, and there we go. Such a great challenge on the 6P item toss by using that uh, stun dipper. So that's definitely what we want to see, challenging those item tosses, not letting Faust get started. And Danny looking strong already. Mm -hmm. Danny looking very aware of a lot of these resets um, that Faust will do, like those item tosses and neutral off of buttons, as well as that J2K into low. It's yeah, five, uh, the 5 H pickup goes into a wall break. It's a lot of damage yeah, I... already for Danny. Yep, I believe that was catching a backdash as well. And oh, is this? No, that's not, not not quite, quite going to be gonna it. Leave, that's going to leave Z guy very low. And the oh, DP and after the J2K, I love that. The space yeah. and throw out some uh, of your big buttons to keep Kai from uh, creating that space. For sure, yeah. Z guy is definitely focusing a little bit much on items in this uh, matchup, trying to get as much out. Whereas a lot of the time you're going to be wanting to um, just throw out those buttons and keep Kai from getting in. Yeah. Okay. Great Based. mix. Base that throw. Oh, the pressure right now is quite crazy from Danny, but able to mix 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 out of the corner. Oh, not quite able to punish the scarecrow there. Scarecrow charge is actually plus. Ah, oh. it's really weird yet. Yeah. Right there, take though. That with a good throw, though. Yeah, I like that uh, using the uh, stun dipper to get under the bomb bag and uh, closing out that round. Oh, the meaty 2k going to catch Z guy mashing on wake up there. Using the mix, 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 not able to quite escape and the burst is taken danny is gonna take full advantage of that and that is a quick game two from danny Once danny has gotten started the pressure has looked quite good so far especially at baiting out some throws and some bursts and even using the uh stun dipper to uh go under a couple of options but now z guy is actually able to get something started here though danny not having any of it using the burst right away that wall break there and goes into the super gonna get that knocked down although z guy does have 50 meter for defense if he needs it yeah oh getting caught again there and that is going to take it one more round for danny can z guy make it back here danny is on set point now 6 H is gonna hit the bomb right towards danny Okay, some pretty good items there, but Danny is just going to DP out of that. Okay, just hold your ground and great six, uh, 5k from Z guy answering Danny's air dash. Though Danny is still looking to push forward to make something happen. And now we got a command grab, not quite going to kill and great um, bait on the DP, but had the RC to make it safe. Danny can make this happen. We're gonna see a burst. We still have a burst over from Danny, but you've only got one. Yeah, you're, you're just gonna get hit there. That was very close though. Um, Z guy so showing some signs of life and able to take a round back. Let's see if you can turn that into game three. Good 3D there from, uh, from Z guy. Maybe we'll take the round. Although right now, Danny is showing some good corner pressure. Uh, is he guy gonna be able to escape it though? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's well, the stun dipper. Catches that back dash. That might be enough to kill here. Oh, no meter. It's unfortunate, but Z guy now on his last legs. Gold oh, burst. The immediate burst, and that is going to take it. Danny with the 3 0. Very well. Um, overall, really good movement. Let's see how you can play around Kai here. Okay, immediately bursting. 
fast RC into low. Great blocks from Ice Scorpion, able to get out with the capo. Nice dash block, the movement from Ice Scorpion looking good right now. And there's the whiff 6P from Danny getting punished. Now forced to use the burst, not wanting Ice Scorpion to get any more momentum in this round. And that is going to take it. One thing I love about Ice Scorpion's play is the way that he uses air movement is really, really impressive. We're seeing a lot of whiffs from uh, players that uh, he's been playing against. Like, we saw the whiff 6P, Danny was expecting some kind of um, immediate answer there from Ice Scorpion, but Ice Scorpion just not having it capoling right over. Uh, though, Danny, um, I mean, Kyle's, <laughs> Kai's damage is still quite good, uh, even if it's not quite on the level of Ramathal or Nagoriyuki. Um, it's consistent it will, is what it is. Yeah, it's consistent. It will only take so many good hits to take down Melia, and Danny is going to take the game one. Uh, just as you said, the consistent damage is uh, really showing with uh, Kai able to deal enough uh, despite losing more interactions um, to take game one there. Now, I noticed that Clash cancel there. Um, they both clashed 2Ks, and I Scorpion went for a 6H, which ended up low profile or high profiling Danny's um, 2K after the Clash yeah. Cancel. Yeah, that was a very interesting interaction there. And again, the whiff 6P, not able to punish though. Okay, and we get the throw. throw. That JK and overhead. And... Going to lead into yeah. death with that set of voices to wall break. Scorpion getting a round on the board, uh, making some slight adjustments on the offense here. And okay, guys, uh, Danny able to just DP out now. That is something that you definitely need to be watching out for. And oh, that is going to take it perfect from Danny. What a quick round. Mm -hmm. I Scorpion definitely had some stuff going on there in that first round, but Danny was just able to snowball to the end of the second one. Okay, keeping that space with those buttons and the stun edges and finally going in with the uh, stun dipper and getting a lot off of that. Uh, getting the early wall splat though, so you're not able to kill quite yet, but you're very close. Anything will kill. Chip damage will kill. Um, that there it is. There's the 2 will also kill. Danny is now up 2 up. Give me just a minute. Oh, there's the... 2k answer from Danny. All but nice throw from Ice Scorpion. Bursting out to not deal with the pressure now. Okay, great. Taking your turn back with that dash 2k. Showing a little bit more of a reserve neutral right now, but now Danny is getting started controlling space with these buttons that, uh, with these stun edges and quick uh, far slash or 6H to control space in front of you. Um, yeah, Ice Scorpion's actually finding quite a bit of trouble until that moment, able to finally get a dash 2k and get something started. And oh no, that's gonna catch the close slash. And RC just to confirm the round there. Danny gonna take that round with a great super into RC. Something else I've been noticing that Danny's doing is using JS to control the airspace really well. That's somewhere that Milia wants to be, but those new buffs are making JS just so much of a menace uh, as an air to wear. Mm -hmm. Making it disjointed as well as it generally just being a very fast, long range move. Can make it yeah. super hard to contest in the air and even if you're on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, Danny really using a lot of these buttons to really control space and oh. I believe that was catching the backdash with the close slash there. Okay, far slash. There's JS. Really trying to control space here. Really trying to keep Ice Scorpion locked down. And oh, there's the anti air food arc that should be able to uh, end it there. And Danny is going to move on into grand finals uh, versus Ram versus Kai here. Good conversion there into the stun dipper, goes into knockdown. 
I'm already gonna force Anima to burst. Yep, Danny already getting started. Great answer with the... Oh, Anima! Back out of the corner and baiting the burst. Able to get this big combo with the laser. Okay, Good throw great. tech there from Danny. Yeah. Hello. Oh, now we got the stun dipper RC. That flash cancel there and the stun dipper. It's really nice yeah. from Danny. I love how ready Danny is to flash cancel and the stun dipper. Ooh, that's an RC right there. Into Mortabato going to take the first round for Anima. Yeah, very close right now. Oh, that is a big whiff. Oh, that's a nice oh. combo there from Anima. Yeah, I was afraid that that was going to drop there at the end, but barely in range for that uh, Rekka. And, oh, not able oh, to punish no. the super there. Drops that punish on the super. That's so unfortunate. Close okay. slash goes into the tick throw, and the OTG with the 2 on 4 h is going to take game one for Anima very quickly. Didn't work out. Um, let's see how this plays out now into the, uh, the following games, what Danny might be thinking about uh, in terms of defense. Um, but right now, Anima uh, on a bit of the back foot here. Great challenge from Danny on Wake Up there. Okay, great conversion. And the super should kill here. Definitely will. Oh. Never mind, I oh. stand corrected. That's not going to take the round for Danny. J2 and Forest are gonna side swap there with that 2k. Now putting Danny in the corner. But that oh. 5D, Danny's awareness there on defense is so good there. Using that opportunity to jump out, the double jump to avoid the JPs, and then gets yeah. a really nice landing JS and mixes up with that charge or er, uncharged dust. Yeah. Now Danny getting started with the offense here, catching the back dash with the stun edge, and oh, there's a 5H. Okay. They're both showing really uh, good challenges uh, on each other's pressure, and oh! Okay, yeah, bursting out of that. So now Anima with a really good spot. Oh, How did that my goodness. side switch? That cross up was really nice from Anima. And that I, the... I did not block that, I can tell you that much. Yeah, I have to rewatch that. I have no idea how that happened, but Anima looked so good there and that was just absolutely crazy. Now, good DPS Anima... from Danny. Mm hmm. Alright, okay, 5H, that's gonna go into a combo, but it forces Danny to burst instead. Yeah, Anima looking a little bit scared there on defense, and Danny able to capitalize, getting a nice little combo here with the wall splat. Oh, a little bit of a drop there from Anima. Oh, and that should take it there with the OTG. Very nice there, um, that comeback tournament. Danny has been looking very strong, but Nima is just that much better to uh, get these nice little interactions, these nice little baits that just... Oh, and yeah, really controlling space with the 5H now. Um, Anima overall is looking quite good. Now jailing Danny into the corner here with the jump is really cranking up that risk. Danny doesn't want to deal with it. Get uses the burst to get right out there. Oh no, this should be it. Oh, there's a combo drop. DP out from Danny. Oh, okay. And that oh. JK gonna take the round for Anima. Now putting him on tournament point. Only needs one more round to take the whole thing. 5k yeah. goes into the records. Putting Danny in the corner, and yet again, here is that JP chain. Oh. Danny gonna jump the throw after, though. Go oh, to IV the in IV. the throw. That was not, I believe, a. Ooh. Oh. Good 6p from Danny. Very back and forth in this round right now. Gonna get the wall break here, but we do have full resources over from Anima. So, still a very scary situation. Now being pushed into the corner, spending all that bar. 
sensing that jump and getting the air throw. Anima looking good, but oh, looks like Danny was trying to bait a burst, but Anima was not having it, just holding on to it. And there now is the burst, and that is going to take it. Anima taking it 3 0 over Danny.